Hello folks, this is a video for you that have pets and especially for the ones that consider their pets as family members. We all love our pets and it would be great if we could help them to increase their lives with as many years as possible and have a better health at the same time would make that terrific. In this video, I show you 10 ways to make that happen. Two of them won the Nobel Prize. First, have your newborn breastfeeding for as long as possible. That is by far the healthiest food that it will ever eat. Second, never give or let anyone give treats to your pet and make sure there is a pause of at least five hours between each meal. That alone will make your pet much healthier, allowing a longer life in the process. The five hours rest is the time that pet's stomachs need to reset after each meal. Stomachs are the second brains in our animals. If you have too many treats in stock, make meals with them or mix them with the regular meals. Third, cook your pet's meals. Avoid as much as possible. The best would be never doing it, giving processed food to your pet. You can give scrap food, but rinse the salt and the other seasoning off before doing it. Bob, a Portuguese purebred Rafaeiro do Alentejo dog, that is the oldest dog in history, his 31st birthday was on May 11, 2023, a few days before this video was made, only eats scrap food with the seasoning rinsed it off. If there is a lot of processed food in stock, don't throw it away. Mix it in a small amount, 10% for example with the new food that you are making. Fourth, don't mix different stars in the same meal and know how to mix the other types of food as milk, meat and vegetables. The book The Grace Diet has a great table explaining that for humans and you can use those rules for your pet. Fifth, if your pet is fed, give it only one or two meals a day. You can continue giving three meals a day after your pet gets to the ideal weight. 60. If you still want to give processed food to your pet, give it only the best processed food that is available. 70. If it's possible, give your pet vegetables mixed with the food that it likes. That will keep its body more alkaline. Alkaline bodies are healthier, and Dr. Otto Warburg was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1931 for his work on the aerobic and anaerobic metabolic process in cells. He stated that no disease, including cancer, can exist in an alkaline environment. Salt, the minimum of the minimum in the special food that you make for your pet, or in the instant scrap food. Sugar or anything sweet, never ever. Remember that sugar is one of the ingredients of pizzas. Bell peppers and tomatoes are acidic fruits and they are good for your pet only when they are cooked. Eight, if your pet is sick and you want a faster recovery, give it only one meal a day, at least twice a week. You can give just one meal a day, more than twice a week, in more severe cases. It works due to the process called autophagy, which heals the cells when they are exposed to starvation. Yoshinori Osumi was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 2016 for his discoveries of mechanism for autophagy. Some pet breeds are prone to have congenital disease, and those diseases can be mitigated using that approach. Ninth, a calm environment is the best for your pet. Stressful situations and good health don't mesh. Encourage your pet to be friends with its equals and with other types of animals. And finally, tent, have your pet doing exercise as regularly as possible. A minimum of 20 minutes walk a day would be the ideal. Consider training your pet to walk on a treadmill for bad weather days. 
These 10 simple tips are highly effective at enabling your pet to have a healthier and longer life. And the oldest dog in history has done at least six of them. It would be better to ask your vet about this, but most likely there are no side effects in any of that, only the best benefits. All this information is in the book Fox, Dragons and Vogus, A Fortress Ways to Analyze Anyone, written by me, Marconi Batista Costa. If you like the video, don't forget to give a like and share with your friends. And please subscribe. It will help to strengthen the channel. I see you the next video. Thank you.